Scott here with UA Lawn Care. I want to talk to you guys and share some uh, new ideas about social media prospecting. There's 12 laws, and I want to talk to you about this. It's about filling your pipeline, your sales pipeline, uh, how to work with the referrals that you can get through LinkedIn and other online services. See uh, how they apply to whatever application you use. So if you're using LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, or face-to-face, -face, law number one, be a giver. You know, when we are out and about meeting new people, those of us who are mindful of giving can always spot the givers and the takers. Every one of us has so much to give to others, thereby we enable other people to really get to know us. This is called building relationships through value. I think it's important to put the value into any relationship, to put the time before we really will receive, before the other person will give back to us. They need to know that we're in the game and we're not just here to take. Effective business professionals know this. They are all about selling themselves and building relationships, and they do this through value. They give of themselves both their time and their expertise. Most importantly, they do it from the heart. Quite simply, to sell yourself, you must give of yourself. I am not saying you must give away the store, nor am I saying that you give so much that it diminishes the perception of your value. As I indicated earlier, you give of yourself when, when, example one, you are socially mobile, volunteering, contributing to your community. How do you do that? Well, you lead an online discussion, uh, start special interest groups uh, locally, join the, the Freemasons, uh, a church, church group, a Rotary Club, Lions, um, and other groups like that. Seek opportunities to help others, such as facultating introductions between colleagues and friends. Uh, you exercise empathetic listening with genuine interest and others. You play a key role in helping another person create a positive outcome in their life while expecting nothing in return. Let me repeat that. You help other people and you're not there to, to take anything. And that's huge. That's going to show how big of a person you are and that you believe in the golden rule. So law number two, your network is sacred. Do you know why people are hesitant to use social media? Or perhaps why some people will absolutely never give out their email address, but they are quick to hand over their phone number? Or perhaps did you ever wonder why, um, why not everyone you meet will be immediately willing to put you in touch with everyone they know? Your network and the strength of relationships with people in the, your network is one of the most valuable assets. A network of fellow friends, business contacts, and colleagues, clients is by no means a commodity. Therefore, it is not just something that you take for granted. And you shouldn't take it for granted. Uh, people need to know that you're sincere when you uh, share um, information to help them out to uh, solve the problem that they're having. Furthermore, your network is made up of people just like you and they deserve respect. You should treat them the way you know they want to be treated. So the golden rule, really. Do unto others as you want to be uh, treated. 
you want to treat your neighbor as you want to be treated. So if you borrow the ladder from the neighbor, return the ladder after you're done with it, not a month or a year later. Um, just as you regard your own network as being sacred and valuable, so do others of your own contacts and your friends. In fact, your networks, networks are indeed part of your own. Just as the three-tier structure on LinkedIn illustrates, they are not people with whom you may be directly connected, but you are still connected. When seeking referrals, introductions, be them in person or online, you will need to show equal respect, consideration, sensitivity to members in your friend's network. In fact, the more connected each of your own network members are, the deeper your network becomes. It is not just about width, your direct connection, it's about depth, the connection of your network members, and so on. Law number three, being reciprocal. As a member of the online community, you will no doubt be in the position to receive favors from others. Perhaps you might need to fill a position in your office. Your brother needs the advice of a good attorney. Social networks where some people will be closer to you than others can, can provide the foundation to be on the receiving end of the goodwill of others. It is not unusual to write in return just as long as the recommendations are properly qualified, honest, and sincere. Uh, for example, on Twitter is when someone retweets a post of yours or mentions you in a fo follow Friday to do the same for that person and return. Um, basically, it gets down to the online, you want to share the videos that you saw, you want to uh, retweet other meaningful tweets that make sense. Um, if it's a funny video on YouTube, share it with your friends, family, neighbors. If it's a business, good at business advice, that you know um, your business partner might need to see, share it with them. Um, it's all about giving, receiving, expanding your social circle online in, in return. In closing, give us the big thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, share it with a friend, family, family member. Follow us on Twitter. Join us on Google+. Follow us on Instagram. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you have any suggestions for future videos, also make the suggestion down below. Thanks again.